When I was little, my father was famous. He was the greatest samurai in the empire. He cut off the heads of 131. Hey everybody, Jerry Williams, aka Greater Sapien here. Thanks for stopping by. Today we are looking at two more from Dubai's 200 Proofs. Earth is not a spinning ball. Number 140. Foucault's pendulums are often quoted as proof of a rotating Earth, but upon closer investigation, prove the opposite. To begin with, Foucault's pendulums do not uniformly swing in any one direction. Sometimes they rotate clockwise and sometimes counterclockwise. Sometimes they fail to rotate and sometimes they rotate far too much. The behavior of the pendulum actually depends on, one, the initial force beginning at swing, and two, the ball and socket joint used, which most readily facilitates circular motion over any other. The supposed rotation of the Earth is completely ins inconsequential and irrelevant to the pendulum's swing. If the alleged constant rotation of the Earth affected pendulums in any way, then there should be no need to manually start pendulums in motion. If the Earth's diurnal rotation caused the 360 degree uniform diurnal rotation of pendulums, then there should not exist stationary, a stationary pendulum anywhere on Earth. Let me start at the beginning. No one claims Foucault, Foucault's pendulums uniformly swing in any one direction. This is a straw man Eric propped up. The direction and rate at which they rotate varies depending on the hemisphere, northern or southern, and distance from the equator. The period of the swing is a wholly different thing and depends on the length of the pendulum, while its speed depends on its length and the angle from which it begins. You got a whole lot wrong in a single sentence. I admire your efficiency, Eric. I have no idea what Dubé means by they rotate far too much, and he gives no examples. I just mentioned what actually affects the type and rate of rotation. Initial force? The only force that is applied is the force that lifts the bob into its starting position. It is then just released, and the force applied is due to gravity. That starting position affects the velocity of the swing, which is different from the rate of rotation. The ball and socket joint doesn't facilitate circular motion over any other. It allows circular motion as opposed to other joints that do not allow it. Linear motion is not restricted in the slightest. Saying, if the Earth's diurnal rotation caused the 360 degree uniform diurnal rotation of pendulums is in and of itself a straw man. The only places on the Earth where a Foucault pendulum is said to have a 360-degree diurnal rotation is at the Earth's geometric poles. That next part has me slightly confused, Eric, because you seem to be saying if the Earth's rotation was actually having any effect, we shouldn't need to pull it back to get it started? And that's just dumb. The angular shift of the pendulum is caused by the plumb of the pendulum not being in line with the anchor point as the Earth rotates. So one has to move it out of alignment uh, with that point to do the demonstration. This sounds like you're trying really hard to ignore how pendulums actually function in order to wave away the reality you know is demonstrably against you. Speaking of which, 141. The Coriolis effect is often said to cause sinks and toilet bowls in the northern hemisphere to drain spinning in one direction, while in the southern hemisphere causing them to spin in the opposite way, thus proving, providing proof of the spinning ball earth. Once again, however, just like Foucault's pendulum, Spinning either which way, sinks and toilets in the northern and southern hemisphere do not consistently spin in any one direction. Sinks and toilets in the very same household are often found to spin in opposite directions, depending entirely 
upon the shape of the basin and the angle of the water's entry, not the supposed rotation of the earth. So, this is a situation where Dubay is telling the truth about sinks and toilets, but he's using urban legends about them as a straw man against the reality of the Coriolis effect. What people think they heard about toilets isn't a tenet of established science. But we all know that some nine years ago, the guys at Veritasium and Smarter Every Day did a joint experiment proving the Coriolis effect at a relatively small scale. They conducted similar experiments in the northern and southern hemispheres, and the clockwise, counterclockwise Coriolis effect was confirmed for all to see. You can clearly see that the water is flowing clockwise in this direction, and that makes sense because that's how it should flow in the southern hemisphere due to the Earth's rotation. We have a kiddie pool in my garage, and the whole Earth is rotating, and the water is going counterclockwise because I'm in the northern hemisphere. It's real. This is real. And I seem to recall back in debunk number 24 linking to an Army Field Artillery Manual that directly gives guidance on how to compensate for the effect uh, in the use of ballistics. Man, those two went pretty quickly. Eh. You won't catch me complaining. Maybe you came by to congratulate me on last night's victory. 